Hello guys, I'm Liviu and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna talk about the number one fault I found on flight controllers. Maybe 70% of broken flight controllers have this issue. I am talking about dead MCUs. They go out in different ways. Most of them get shorted to ground on the power pins and also input output pins. Some of them still work but not fully and some of them just don't react to anything. I have received from Elia, a subscriber, some broken stuff and I wanted to talk about this. There are two flight controllers here on my table, a CL Racing and uh, this iFlight. And I will start with this iFlight. When I first tested it on the USB, I got some heating in this area and these two are 3.3 volts regulator. Usually on fly controllers you can find one, two or more 3.3 volts regulator depending on the design but mostly 3.3 volt regulator is needed for MCU and gyroscope. Some fly controllers just use one 3.3 volt regulator for gyro and MCU. Some decide to go with uh, two or more. In this case we have two. 3.3 volts regulators. I will uh, put my multimeter on continuity test and I want to tell you that on this 5 pin footprint uh, this pin is the output, this one is the input, this is ground and so is for this one. So we have here three caps on the output and also three caps here on the output. Let's measure the output and see if we have a short we have a short on that one and we don't have on this one. So to rule out the regulator and to be honest, everybody who's feeling a regulator getting hot, the first idea is that the regulator is dead, but 99% of the time the regulator itself is good, but it's getting hot because there is an excess current draw on the output. So I will take the regulator out of the um, PCB. Obviously I can work with it on the PCB, but I prefer to just take it out. I have prepared two wires which I will connect here. This is my positive from uh, my power supply and this one is the negative. I will um, adjust my power supply output to 3.3 volts. I will take my handy dandy alcohol, spray some on here and power on the power supply. I can already see 1.8 amps current draw, but I cannot see any obvious part hitting on this side of the PCB. So I will uh, power off my power supply, turn it on the other side. As you can see here, there is a great amount of mess from this uh, conformal coating. I saw here a tiny wire, just took it out, just to be safe. It's not touching anything here, cleaning a bit here, but as you can see there is a lot of old solder there, so I will use some fresh solder, because it also has flux in it. And this way I can clean and be sure I don't have a shirt or anything like that. And here too. Okay. Everything looks okay. Let's spray some alcohol here and power the FC again. Okay. So we can already see which part is dead here. That MCU is boiling hot and as I told you earlier, this is one of the main reasons why flight controllers go dead. 
MCUs get killed and to be honest most of the guys in FPV learned to solder while starting FPV so even a little mistake can ruin a flight controller. The most obvious reason why the MCUs get killed is physical stress because they can twist together with a PCB and they can get killed inside but number one reason is uh, applying bad voltage at the inputs and outputs of the flight controller. Usually MCUs can accept a maximum of 5 volts if not 3.3 and if you by mistake put 10 volts or even worst LiPo voltage on one of the output or input pins you most definitely would kill an MCU. So be very careful what you do and don't kill fly controllers and I mean it just be very careful after you solder or you make something on the fly controller. Okay so let's switch to the other um, fly controller and see what we can find there. CL Racing F7 something and it is not working so first I'm gonna try and power it as a LiPo. I have my power supply and I will connect it here and the other one I will connect it here because it's a ground. I will set my power supply to 16 volts and let's see what's happening. I see nothing on this side. So let's put it like so, so that we can actually see the LEDs. So we only see one LED. I will take my multimeter leads. I will choose a ground, which is this one. And we have here three regulators which all three appear to be 3.3 volt regulator on this uh, CL Racing V2 they say there is something pretty weirdly designed with these um, pads here and these pads here also which I am not going to talk about them uh, so let's uh, check the 3.3 volt regulators on this one I have 5 volts at the input which is normal 3.33 on the output. On this one I have 5 volts on the input 3.3 volts on the output and here I can see 5 volts input and 3.32 on the output. So all three regulators are working and are filling 3.3 volts somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where. So this uh, doesn't want to connect to the computer whatsoever. It does receive the supply voltage. So I am afraid that this MCU is killed. But just to rule out something physical on the PCB, I will uh, take a look at the datasheet of the F7 MCU and I will try to see which is the power pin and see if we have power on that pin. Okay, so I will uh, take my multimeter, look for ground, which is this one. And where is the pin one mark? I don't know, this conformal coating is crazy. Okay, so uh, this is the pin number one mark. And we have here pin 64, we should have 3.3 volts and we have so nothing is physical wrong with the PCB, the MCU just doesn't work. It could be that uh, the crystal here is damaged and the clock is not generated, but I never saw a resonator not working, so I suspect the MCU is indeed dead because uh, I don't see it in the PC, not even when I press the bootloader button, so this MCU is bye bye. Okay guys, hope uh, you liked this video. I am trying my best to record more and more repairs, but um, 
I don't have that many uh, broken stuff, so this is why I uh, want to thank Elia for donating this. I will uh, record some other videos in the near future. So the number one fault found in uh, flight controllers is a dead MCU. So be very careful how you solder wires and stuff to your flight controller. Be very careful not to touch any pins while the flight controller is powered and um, yeah just be careful <laughs> so again thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and uh, don't forget to press that subscribe button because it really helps me so until next time bye